Hello, this is a tutorial for RPG Maker VX Ace on how to install Victor scripts for the animated battlers. So, I'm gonna make this really short. So, the first thing you're gonna, gonna wanna do is go over to Victor Scripts, his website, without WordPress. I'll leave a link in the description. Um, and you're gonna wanna download the three scripts that you, you will need the basic module, the actors battlers, and the animated battles. Um, scripts which I have already downloaded I have all three right here and you can download them really simply just by clicking on the name and clicking script download so once you've done that you're gonna have all three and you're gonna wanna click control A to and control C to copy it and then go over to your script um, icon over here and scroll all the way down like from the top down all the way to materials right click and click insert then control V to paste it there and you're gonna wanna put the um, Victor Scripts basic module first it's the first one that should be under here so I'll go back to my web browser and the next one you're gonna wanna put in is the animated battle so control A control C lower that and I'll click on here and insert another one control V and then once more with the actors battlers okay so it should be basic module and then let's see here animated battle and this should be actors battlers yep okay so the next thing you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want to go to the animated battle here and we're going to have to change a few things here to make it work. So we're going to want to scroll down to in the lines. Um, line 348 is where we make the first change. And we're going to want to change the frames to 3, the rows to 4. And then we can leave these things here. They don't change. And in we're going to change sprite to car set. So we're going to do that with default as well. Just type in car set and leave it like that. And then click apply and OK. So that's how you install the scripts, but there's still more to do. So yeah. OK, so the next thing you're going to want to do is to export and re-import the character that you are using. So you can see here that we're using the basic character. Um, Eric and he I believe is in yes um actor 4 so what you're gonna wanna do is click export and export it somewhat easy such as your desktop Just click save then you're gonna wanna go over to battlers and click import once this loads and then you're gonna wanna scroll down and find actor 4 or whatever it is that you're using whatever character so that's all you're gonna have to do for that so the next thing you're gonna wanna do to make it so that the scripts can actually find the character is to um, put in your note tags which will connect to your character so what you're gonna wanna do is go to your actor and because I'm using Eric you're gonna wanna go to the note tag and type in greater sign battler name uh, colon and then actor 4 and then your um, greater than or less than sign I guess closing bracket <laughs> okay so then you're gonna wanna click apply and then OK and that's what you're gonna wanna do for note tags okay so the next thing you're gonna, gonna wanna do is to import the character or enemy that you're using as your enemy in the battle um, into a different spot. So for this I'm using the man-eating plant so I'm gonna wanna go over to my database here and it is in monster 2 here this is the format the enemy has to be in so you'll export it there I'll rename it just plant and then I'm going to go over to battlers and import it let's see here 
and here we are. So there we go, and it's right now, right there, where we need it to be. So the next thing you're going to do is go over to your database here, and find enemies, and then change it to this, which is the format you ha want it to be in, which is all good and stuff. Then go into the note tags of your enemy, and just like with the character, we're going to type bottler name, colon, plant. And then don't forget the um, brackets there. And then click apply and OK. OK, so that's pretty much it for what you have to do here. So I set up this little enemy here so it should work. And what you're going to want to do is, after you have it imported and stuff, you're going to want to go to troops and Originally, the man-eating plant is about three, but I removed two of them, so it's just one enemy, so it's simpler. And then you can move around this, and it's just going to display this, um, one character set. So click OK there, and then I'll test it and show you. So, let's start a new game. It's just set to um, action button, and then you have this here. Now, as you can kind of see, it has a background right now. That was just because I imported it um, improperly. But you can always fix that with a program such as um, paint.net or something and just get rid of the backgrounds. And you can play. It works with the weapons and stuff. You can see I'm holding the axe there. And that's basically a how to install Victor's um, animated battle scripts really simply. So hope you enjoyed the tutorial and leave comments, reviews, recommendations if there's anything else you'd like to know and I can try and help with that. Um, if you'd like to add me on Steam you can, it's Jam and Haku. Um, subscribe and thanks for watching. That's about it.